Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can change the video background of your videos in Clipchamp. So let's get right into it. Now, there are two cases in which you can change a background. For example, if your video is like this, let me just drag it over into the timeline. If it's like this and it doesn't fit completely into the 16 by 9 or whatever aspect ratio you're using, you have these blank spots behind. To change that background and set it to something else, you need to take a piece of media, an image, another video, do whatever you want, uh, take that and drag it below the video in the timeline. And when you drag it below like so, it'll be added behind the video and make sure it is completely uh, matching the length of the video as well. And make sure it is exactly matching since if it's a bit over, it will just show the background for a couple of seconds before the footage ends. But as you can see now, it is for some reason behind because this is all the way uh, at the end. But if I change the cursor back, as you can see, the background now is blue. However, if you have other well, concerns and you have other wishes to change the background, the only way you can change a background in another way is, for example, if you use a green screen or a chroma key. For example, if I put the same video here and I put the green screen over it, uh, or above it in the timeline. As you can see now, it is completely covering the video in the bottom. Uh, and as you can see, the complete video is the green screen. Now to remove the green screen and change the background uh, of this green screen, you go in and click select the green screen video in the timeline, go into effects and then locate the green screen effect. And then once you apply it, as you can see, the green screen has vanished from the background. Uh, you can change the screen threshold, which is pretty much the sensitivity of what certain color it takes away. If I set it to max, as you can see, different shades of green don't as easily get taken away. And you can change whether you want it to remove green, red, or blue. It completely depends on your wishes, but that is pretty much the only two ways uh, that I know to change the background. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in another video.